We begin tonight with a look at a record number of whooping cranes in South Texas. New data from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service show more spent their winter in South Texas than ever before. Brandon Schaff spoke with the service about it and joins us in studio with tonight's top story. Brandon. Yeah, you got it, Brian. Just 10 years ago, there were about half as many whooping cranes here in South Texas that would come for the winter, and they spent their time at, they when they come here, they spend their time at the Aransas National Wildlife Refuge, which is just north of Rockport. But experts I spoke with tell me that they are now coming in record numbers, and that's been a trend for many decades. We just fin finished analyzing the data for that, and really happy to report that we had a record a number of whooping cranes that wittered with us uh, here on the Texas coast uh, at 543 birds. Experts at the Aransas National Wildlife Refuge in Ostwell say the whooping crane migratory population increased by more than 4% a year for the last 50 years. They usually arrive in South Texas in the fall and make their way to Canada after the winter to breed. Dr. Wade Harrell with U.S. Fish and Wildlife says the record numbers are a long time coming. This has been a long-term trend. Uh, whooping cranes were very near extinction uh, back in the 1940s and 50s uh, with uh, less than 20 birds here. So it's a pretty big success story. Dr. Harrell also says the population more than doubled since he started tracking here 10 years ago. Whooping cranes come to South Texas for the winter for the plentiful seafood and ideal weather. Winter storm Yuri changed things when it hit in 2021. The, the whooping cranes kind of took advantage of the situation and they don't aren't usually big fish eaters, but we did see them really utilize stunned and uh, cold field, cold uh, killed and stunned fish during that time period. So a little bit of a, a diet shift during the freeze. And Dr. Harrell also points out how popular whooping cranes are for bird watchers when they come to town, especially now with the record numbers. And he says that that's good for the local economy when they visit so that when they come during that migration, it really stimulates everything and all of the local businesses in the area here. Brian.